Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well Pisces Rising. Weekly Tower reading July 22nd to July 28th, uh, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are to jump straight away uh, into the spread. Okay, so uh, the first card which stands for the topic of your Pisces week, this is going to be the Two of Pentacles, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week, this is going to be the King of Swords. Then what we do have, it is the positive aspect of the week here, this is going to be the uh, Queen of uh, Wands. And the last one which is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you, that will be the Empress card. Oh, that will be a bit intense. Uh, I would say uh, here with these couple of cards, the two, the, with these four cards of that reading is that you are going to be cut, uh, caught completely off guard by a certain demands or a um, criteria. Uh, for example, your boss could approach you on Monday or a Tuesday giving you a project that is going to just blow your mind with, with its sophistication and the level of complexity, which will require from you completely to abandon your schedule and make your new schedule on fly, which is going to be a bit quite stressful, all right? But don't you worry, you're not going to be alone in it. As a matter of fact, you do have a help that comes around, which will, together with, uh, with this help, it seems that uh, you are going to be quite successful with uh, accomplishing this, uh, this endeavor. You know, or it could be as well your husband, or it could be your wife, it could be a friend of yours as well, your family. The thing is, guys, is that... <clears throat> Someone is going to ruin your plans. Uh, it's because they had a better idea. And for one or another reason, that person, uh, it's someone that is above you, someone that you cannot simply argue with, but whatever they say, you got to do, all right? It could be as well your lawyer. If you want to succeed into your trial, you got to do this. And that will throw off your plans completely. <clears throat> Just examples here. And uh, that will, uh, let's run the cards one more time, one second. We do have the Two of Pentacles as the topic, followed by uh, the uh, King of Swords here as a challenges. Then it is the Queen of Wands as a uh, positive aspect. And then the last one, that will be the Empress card, which is the Guidance. So Two of Pentacles, it is the adaptability card. It is the card where uh, a fixed ideas or fixed plans should be let go of because the future that because what what future holds in the uh, in the near uh, range it's uh, it's quite unpredictable. 
Uh, also, the Two of Pentacles involves two minor changes that are happening, which does not concern your plans uh, plans directly. Well, they do concern. They, these changes are not happening in your plans, all right? But they are happening in the circumstances which your plan revolves around. So you have to change your plan to or your routine, you know, or, or your strategy to uh, align with uh, the circumstances which are shifting slightly, which are bending, okay? So yeah, it, it does look like that that week is gonna be a, a week of surprises and needless to say that at the start, you're gonna face those surprises with a, a great uh, sense of irritation uh, because you're not gonna be happy, you know, of, um, of such presented unfoldments. It's because you already have your schedule for example, okay, and now you have to completely ruin that schedule and, and, and reschedule everything, all right, or replan everything, and that is kind of annoying, isn't it? But what the Two of Pentacles also does is that sometimes out of those small changes or readaptations, a huge openings are presented, not for every single one of you Pisces, but for some of you, you may find through those changes, you know, or readaptations exactly what you needed to push your things through. The accompanied card here is going to be the Seven of Pentacles, the formation. It is a uh, passive supporters that we do have. And uh, you definitely will have to take your time, you know, to uh, rebuild um, your plan for advance. And uh, it's, it seems that the most important aspect of this week for you is to observe how things are forming, how things are shifting, how things are evolving and what comes out of it. That is very important because with the Seven of Pentacles to the Two of Pentacles, there will be something very important happening, you know, very important circumstances, circumstances or circumstance. Um, if that card, if these cards uh, regards to your marriage, then in your marriage, a, a very important event is going to take place, which you will have to revolve your strategy around that important event. All right. If it is into your career, then the strategy for your career. But one is certain here, guys, and an important thing, which is going to be a game changer is going to happen. Then we go to the next card, which is the challenging card. And that is this person who bosses you around. We do have the King of Swords, person of a high authority, very intelligent, very analytical, someone who is very effective when it comes to making plans, when it comes to building strategies, when it comes to being simply effective in... in um, in performance, all right? And what happens here is that they're gonna have a uh, something different in mind, how to approach the project into your career, for example, or it could be your wife, which have a different idea of what you should do in this week in regards to your marriage, all right? And you're gonna find it very difficult to oppose that person because not only do they have bigger influence upon the situation, but also their arguments are gonna be extremely reasonable or at least they're gonna sound extremely reasonable. Now, while the King of Swords never lies, the King of Swords plays with the truth, all right? Or in other words, they do not always divulge the whole truth or they have that ability to diminish the importance of certain facts and to amplify the importance of other facts. The accompanied card here is going to be the world, uh, the formation. It is a uh, active enemies that we do have and we definitely have a uh, uh, some sort of a hidden aspects of what this person is gonna present as an uh, argument because as a, uh, as a uh, enemies, the veil is not going to fall completely in the veil. It is uh, that symbol of truth, a symbol of openness. There is a withhold information that does not necessarily mean something, but you are going to know that something is not said and that will eat you from, from within, from inside, all right? It may not be something important. It may not concern you at all, but it's still knowing that this person is 
hiding something, you know, especially if it is it's sensitive, like being into a, a relationship, right? So that person that you are in a relationship with is making you do things and they are presenting arguments, but you know that there is more to that. So you instinctively start thinking about, is this person cheating on me? What they are, uh, what they mean with all that, you know, and these kind of stuff, while what they are holding from you may be completely irrelevant to the situation itself. And so the challenge here is going to be not to ask, or I right? just don't provoke the king of swords. So the positive aspect of your week, Pisces, that will be the queen of uh, wands. And that is a, a faithful supporter here, faithful supporter or unconditional supporter here, who very well understands the situation. They very well understand the king of swords and what they want from you. They also understand uh, what you can work with, your arsenal of means and your capabilities. So what happens here is by a combination of your means and personal capabilities, even though at the start when you will get bossed around, the goal of the, king of, uh, of the King of Swords may seem rather overwhelming. Now the, the Queen of uh, Wands is going to uh, form a, a plan, you know, or is going to utilize a combination in between your skills and means, things that you can work with, in order to achieve that goal, okay? So you do have someone like a, a counselor, <clears throat> you know, advisor, uh, someone who is going to boost your confidence as well, and someone who is deny denying failure, they always find a, a way through, and they will find, if you can't, that is your way through these plights. The accompanied card here is going to be the Tree of Wands formation. It is a active, uh, active supporters. Uh, that is a, a very a person who loves challenge, right? They just love challenge, and they find your cha your situation very challenging. They find it like a uh, like a puzzle, and also they will hate this. This Queen of Wands is gonna hate seeing you losing positions, right? They they really uh, have a thing for you, don't they? I mean, they kind of like um, it's not depending. I don't know how to say it in English. But they hold you there to your to their heart. You really mean a lot for them, and that's why they want to see you fail. And uh, together through these uh, consultations, let's say, or meaningful conversations as well, you are going to find a way through. And also, if it comes to that, the Queen of Wands may step in, uh, in a, in the in physical representation, meaning physically helping you, helping you with those uh, plights. So the last card that we do have for you, Pisces, is going to be the uh, Empress card, and that is the Guidance. And with the Empress, the only thing that this card here really says in this follow-up is that you need to recognize the consequences of all that is to happen, the importance from, uh, from, this, uh, from this situation or reason. Because the Empress here says that the results of your toils uh, and the results of the seeds that you are planting here throughout the week, are going to be reaped, either bitter or sweet. They're yours to bear. They're yours to eat. So you have to push yourself throughout the week to give the best you got in regards to this uh, situation, which out of nowhere uh, surprisingly changes it, its course because something big happens. It's not big, you know, but... Uh, how can I describe it? Well, it's a big thing, but in the same time, it's it's kind of like seems irrelevant. It's very difficult to describe it, guys. Um, I just, there will be a, a small adaptations, like I said, in the circumstances, which are gonna, which one thing is gonna lead to another, and then to another, and then to another, and then to the big thing. The big thing is not gonna happen straight away. That's why it's important to 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 wait until the big thing happened. And it is important that you do have this uh, support of the Queen of Wands to help you overcome this big thing or to take the best advantage possible of uh, this big thing happening. 
and the accompanied card here is going to be the Queen of Swords formation. It is a uh, passive enemies that we do have. So um, it's a very orthodox, so um, orthodox standpoint that you need to uh, that you need to adopt. All right, do not try one approach at all cost, but try to be more mm, agile. Oh, it's. Uh, yeah, but, well, try to be more agile. Try to consider a uh, different, uh, different possibilities. But when it comes to what you want from all that to happen, you should not back off of your expectations. All right, with these couple of cards, the Queen of uh, the Empress and the Queen of Swords. Simply, for example, if these changes are happening into your, let's say, a relationship. All right, and that big thing happens, and you see with the help of the queen of wands you see what the potential is there once you make up your mind that that potential should be utilized then you should not abandon that position that's the point of these couple of cards the empress and the queen of swords it's just i hope that you really know what you are going for when that's the case because like i said the results of all that either bitter or, or sweet are yours to bear and so that being said, Pisces, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for July 22nd to July 28th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.